on Gansel Road as Combs High School loses a second student in just weeks. Steps away from where Tuesday night's deadly shooting took place, a memorial set up remembering 17 year old Jameer Jenkins. All I can say is that there's terrible evil in this world. There's awful things that happen, but at the same time, there's goodness. Parents led a prayer walk at Combs High School Wednesday as students yet again mourn the loss of a classmate. As a parent, um, I want to show to my kids that we can still pray for good. The Pinal County Sheriff's Office says they arrested a 17 year old they believe shot Jameer Tuesday night in this park. In addition to being a student, Jameer played football for Combs. In a statement, the high school saying in part, quote, the impact of these events is not only felt by our Combs High School campus, but by countless students, staff, and families district-wide whose lives have been touched by these senseless acts of violence. Last night we walked um, two and a half miles through the streets of Queen Creek. Jameer's killing coming the same night as a walk honoring fellow Combs student Preston Lord, who was killed at a Halloween party last month. Still no arrest in that case. And as a community, I think that for us to heal and to feel like our kids are safe to be out of our sight that we need to see that that our our law enforcement officers are are capable of doing their job and bringing justice to to Preston and his family. Sheriff Mark Lamb says he doesn't believe the cases are related. This is two kids who had a, a little bit of a long standing beef. Um, they got into a verbal argument and unfortunately one pulled a gun out and fired one shot. And the Maricopa County attorney also weighing in tonight, calling the trend of teen gun violence concerning. While crime was below its pre-COVID high, that the gun involved crimes were higher, significantly higher than pre-COVID uh, rates. In Santan Valley, Fort Hatchett, ABC 15, Arizona.